everybody welcome to my channel mm. Mm. this is so bad hey y'all welcome to my channel i'm carrie this is my first video y'all so i'm about to react to this video of a mother who caught her daughter skipping school and smoking weed I haven't watched the full thing okay I watched like the first 10 or 15 seconds and it's already like it's out of control I already did not like the verbiage it's not giving motherhood honey it's giving like you talking to just some random chick on the street but anyways we gonna get into it uh, fuck you nigga you okay see what like what who talks to their child that way like I don't have a kid. I have a dog. I don't even talk to my dog like that. We're only two seconds in and already it's it's just whew. You sit here and take me through motherfucking hell. What the fuck you expect from me? I'm trying to give you what the fuck you looking for. You want to be a class ass clown? You don't want to go to class? You don't want no education? You want to go to school looking like motherfucking this? Motherfucking this! We don't even exit the door like this, nigga. You ain't that dance. Okay, I get where she's coming from. Of course, you don't want your kids skipping school and stuff. It's just the way. It's her delivery. You can still convey your message, but you don't gotta be so harsh about it. You don't have to be so aggressive because you're scaring her. And I get, yeah, you should instill some fear in your kid, but this is this ain't the way. This ain't the way. And then beyond all of that, why why are you on live, man? Like the girl look like she's at least 13. So you gotta be 20, late 20, early 30s minimum. Why are you trying to flex on live by embarrassing your daughter? That that's just so corny. You lame. You lame as fuck for that. This nigga, what the fuck you think this is? Airplane mode, I'm about to beat your ass like real shit. Airplane mode, I don't even understand what that means. And then why are you threatening your child on live? Once again, you look goofy. Why couldn't you just discipline her in private like most parents do, like my parents did? They ain't take no video of me, of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you trying to do? You already are embarrassing her so her mental is gonna be messed up her social life is gonna be completely ruined and it's so many kids out here committing over you know their social life being in shambles or if you know news get leaked or if text messages get leaked like the way i just i we just gonna keep going I'm about to beat your ass like real shit. I'm motherfucking tired. I just clocked off my motherfucking job, nigga. Fuck you talking about. I don't even supposed to be at work, but to get out my own space, I took a job. Airplane mode, my nigga. Oh, it's finna get real real around this bitch. Airplane mode, my nigga. Real talk, let's go. Airplane mode. No, you got me fucked up. You want to embarrass me? I'm going to embarrass you. Airplane mode. What? You embarrassing yourself with the way you're talking to your daughter because it just proves that you can't convey a message without aggression. And that means your vocabulary is poor. Your thought process is poor. But mm, we're going to keep going. I got to stop stopping this because it's only like four minutes long. But it's just already, it's just so many things that are wrong. Like, I get the reason why. But I do not get why you're you're filming it. Why are you trying? Like, why? Airplane mode. Airplane mode. Do you need some help? No. Airplane mode. We need some help. Leg up. Get off my motherfucking door. Get off my fucking door. Scoot your ass up. Oh. Okay, airplane mode means like arms up, leg out. That is actually like a decent form of discipline. I just don't like that it's filmed. That's it. That's all. Arms the fuck out, airplane. 
You want to be a clown? I'm going to help you be a clown, nigga. We got 128, nigga. We going live around this bitch. Yeah, this is what y'all kids like to go live. Well, my kid gets her ass whooped at home. Leg up. You want to be a class clown? Let's do this. Let's do this. Hold it. I'm going to sit the phone on the floor so you can hold it like a dumb ass, bro. Like a stupid ass, bro. What? Like, what are you saying right now? Like a stupid ass, bro. There you go. Stay there. It's either you get your ass beat or you stay there. So whenever you ready, you let that leg down. I know this woman don't have a belt in her hand, honey. I know she lying. How are you going to beat your kid on the camera? You're committing a crime, ma'am. You're committing child abuse, neglect, on film. Are you dumb or are you dumb, like? I can't believe you got a belt in your hand about to whoop this girl. We ain't slaves. And don't get me wrong. I've had a few whoopings in my life. I can count on both hands, honey. It ain't been a lot. Our parents disciplined us the best way that they knew how to. They did what they were taught. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to really fault them for that. Because what I can say today, you still got to be able to convey a message without being so aggressive without being so loud, why are you using vulgar language? If your daughter is doing something you don't like, tell her what she's doing, why you don't like it, help her fix it. Cause maybe you never told her don't go smoke weed. Oh, I don't know, we don't know. Back down so I can go ahead and eat on your little ass. Cause I'm done with that shit. Yeah, get your 126 views right now. Got me yeah, fucked up, nigga, you ain't finna- 126 views? Girl, bye. You disrespecting me. Make pick the fucking leg up. We can sit here for the whole five hours. You missed the class. We can go live for five motherfucking hours. That part. That part. You can laugh. You can laugh when I turn around or whatever you want to do. It don't matter. Let me go live on my shit too. Because your little punk ass thing. You gonna go live on two phones? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to be famous? Like, do you really care about the fact that she missed school? Or are you just using this as an opportunity for clout? I don't understand. Why do you need to go live on two phones? You don't need to be going live at all. Whatever. I think it's a game, but it ain't. Yeah. And she really got the phone in her hand. Up, I ain't no big Kaya. You ain't got no motherfucking job. You won't even get right to have a fucking car. I ain't no big Kaya. You look Kaya. Cause you ain't even on your shit. But when you on Instagram, you swear to God you on your shit. When that leg come down, I'ma get you. That leg come down, I'ma get you. I just lost motherfucking six hours of my motherfucking check fucking with you. So I ain't trying to hear none of that big Kaya. Okay, I understand that, yeah. You losing six hours from your job. That can make or break your check. <laughs> Sorry about my dog. Kaya, you know you go, big Kaya. Let your <laughs> friends know I'll beat your ass up in this motherfucker. But I'm too tired because I was already at work. You gonna stand there like a dumbass duck all day into school motherfucking out. That's what you, you gonna do. So Pick that fucking leg up. Boy, this little girl was a straight hoe. Up. <laughs> Who is the dude in the background? I hope that's not her dad. I know. Honey, I doubt that's her dad because the way this woman acts, I I just don't see her having the baby daddy sitting in the picture. I'm sorry. You can tell you how you want to. Like, are you the brother? Are you the... Uh, who are you? You just... The nigga is she fucking right now? Like, and he don't even need to be there to see this. Shit gets real, nigga. You let me show you how it really gets. Them hoes better not be under her. Let me show you how it really gets. Show you. See, did you get your ass whooped or you, or you do this? She think that shit cute too with her little hoe ass. Come on, girl. Yeah, Big Kaya. Big Kaya gonna be like that all day. Don't drop your arm. That's how you gonna be like that all day. Making me feel some type of motherfucking way? Okay. 
Here you go. Yeah, let's do too much. Here you go. Here you go. Fuck you, nigga. You can't. Why are you saying fuck you to your child? Why are you saying that? Like, you are talking to her like she a hoe on the street. You talking to her like she took your nigga. You can't be talking to your kid like that. She gonna get older and start talking to you like that. Then what, you just gonna fight her? Because by the end, she gonna be your same size, honey. You ain't getting no younger. She gonna be older, stronger, and she gonna beat the fuck out of you. You teaching her to. This is how you teach her to deal with her problems. If she don't like something, yell at a motherfucker and fight. You gotta lead by example, mama, and you're not. Like, I'm not here for it. I'm supposed to be at work. Don't mama me. We ain't cool no motherfucking mo. Put your arms up. Or I'm finna smash. And I put that on everything I love. Pick your arms up. Um, fuck you, nigga. Arms up, arms up, up. Fuck what you talking about, arms up. Cause that's how the fuck I felt. Why does she have multiple audiences? You got your phone on live, you have her phone on live, you got two dudes in the background talking amongst each other. There may be more people. Why are you creating a show? Baby, if you want a show, use your phone. Get on YouTube. But taking advantage of a situation that your daughter created, you don't get clout off that. Because no, now, no, I don't respect you, baby. I don't even know you. I'm sure you're older than me. I don't know you, but I don't respect you for this. And a lot of people don't. And now you look like a clown because you embarrassed yourself. Saying she embarrassed you, you're embarrassing yourself and you're embarrassing her. Now everybody talking shit about you. I'm talking shit about you. You might be a cool person. Okay, I don't know. But from the things I see right here, this ain't this ain't cool to me. I wouldn't be your friend, honey. Not with you talking to your kid like that, because I'm I'm liable to say something. I'ma say something. Um, look, we only got a little bit of the video left. It's like 40 seconds left. Palms up now. Get them bitches up. That's just what oh, God damn it. Nah, they gonna go up and you gonna keep them just like that. Or I'm finna lean into your shit. We up to 500 views. I'm about to lean into you. Arms up. See, she's so worried yeah, about you the wanna fuck with me? Let's fuck with you. Let me come to your house and fuck with you for a change. Let's get on your page and fuck with you. Y'all up. It's not like people viewing because they want to see you, boo. It's not like people viewing because you got a talent, you you doing something innovative, new, you're entertaining. It's it's none of that. Like none of it. People are only tuning in because you're abusing your daughter emotionally and mentally. You are crumbling her social life. She will always be known as the little girl who was about to get whooped on live. Like forever and always. Until she moves out of that town. And still, people may still recognize her. Like, that story is going to follow her until graduation, into college, into the workplace, everywhere. Why would you do that? Like, I'm just so thankful my parents never just took advantage of the situation. Like, back then, we didn't even have, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to let y'all know how old I am. Y'all can guess that, honey. But we didn't have a phone with a camera on it. We had phones. But that was flip phones, honey. They ain't had no camera yet. And then when we did get cameras, the quality was trash. But that, look, that's neither here nor there. All I'm saying is I'm glad that my parents didn't try to publicly humiliate me for their own game. So they could feel better about themselves. Because, like I said, you're not doing anything. You're making it worse. <laughs> you are 100% making this worse. How could you think you're making it any better? She's still gonna smoke weed, bro. And she's still probably going to skip school. She ain't going to stop doing none of that. Just because you put her on lock, that's going to make her rebel more. Yo, like, come on. Think. Ass chicken dog. Instead of at school, getting your education. Yeah, arms out. It's either arms out or belt up. Which which one you want? Arms out. Yeah, I'm doing too much. You don't do a motherfucking enough. You don't do enough, but I'm always doing too much. You goddamn right I'm doing too motherfucking much. You call me Miss Make It Happen. Bitch, yeah, I'm doing too much. Okay. 
So that's the end of the video. And there she was saying that they were uploading videos of them smoking online, which is terrible because that's gonna follow them for the rest of their life. There's nothing wrong with her mom being upset that she skipped school and smoked weed. However, she was a kid before and I'm sure she's done those same things. I don't think publicly humiliating her for clout for clout, cause it's all for clout. Cause you checking the views, you checking the viewers every every so often. Publicly humiliating your daughter for clout is lame, it's goofy. You trash, mama, you trash. I don't even talk to my dog like that. It's just respect. Respect your kid or they will not respect you. And like I said earlier, she's gonna get older and she's gonna yell at you the same way you yelled at her. If you're putting hands on her, she's gonna try to put her hands on you. That's all I gotta say about this. Thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Honey, this is my first one. Let me know how I did. And then let me know in the comments, do you think this is an acceptable form of discipline? If your kid went and skipped school and smoked weed, would you yell at her? Would you beat her? Would you whoop her with a belt? Would you put it on live, honey? I would, but I want to see what y'all think. Let me know in the comments. Let's start a conversation. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.